Maybe you're looking for a shower pan for a family member that has mobility challenges. Maybe it's your mom, maybe it's your dad, son, whomever. And you're struggling, you know, what is the right one? Should I get a lower profile pan or should I get a pan with a ramp? Or should I get a pan that's a one level wet room where the whole bathroom is at one, is at one floor level? but you're not sure which you can do, what's more expensive, what's gonna work, what's gonna look cool. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to three experts and I'm gonna probe with them on what are the pros and cons of those three systems. So hopefully at the end, you'll have a better understanding of which one is right for you. So a low profile is gonna be anywhere from about inch and one eighth up to about three inches. Obviously the thinner the curb, you're gonna have less water dam potential. Um, when you talk about a ramped pan, it's going to have a slope in and a slope out. Thickness of that depends on the size of the shower pan. The bigger the pan, the more it has to be poured, the thicker it's going to be. So there's some size restrictions when it comes to the ramped pan. And then a uh, one level wet room is basically a base former. You know, one system, you can cut the subfloor up, set directly to stud, waterproof, Generally a tile over, but there is an option where you can do a uh, PVC reinforced pan that's a one level wet room as well. Advantages are they're much easier to step in than an alcove tub or a traditional six inch curb. Disadvantages come in play where it may not be easy enough for some users and we're not gonna be able to roll into it or maybe ramp up to it. From an install standpoint, it's definitely an advantage to install a low profile curb versus getting into the subfloor and maybe some joist modification for uh, lower applications. Definitely an advantage on the installation side. It's gonna go in as easy as any curb pan in most cases, uh, right on top of the subfloor. Disadvantages, even though that bevel is there for wheeling in purposes, it is a bit more difficult. Sometimes it takes a little thrust to get over that bevel versus a true level entry pan. The positives of it are there's no threshold, there's no barrier, there's no entry. It looks really clean. It's pretty modern and you can still get a door, you can still get things that can keep the shower area enclosed, but don't necessarily separate it really all that much from the rest of the bathroom, if that makes sense. The disadvantage is obviously there's no threshold. So you really have to waterproof the rest of the room, which does limit you to the different kinds of flooring that you can have and the other applications that you can have in the bathroom. Thanks so much for watching this video and learning about the three different types of shower pans from both Dylan, Ryan, and Jared. However, I know you may even have more questions and want to learn more. You can certainly first give us a call at 877-668-5888 or go to the website at innovatebuildingsolutions.com, go to any of the shower pan sections, and there is a guide you can download, the Ultimate Shower Base Guide, where you can get even more articles and information and more details about these different options. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you learned a lot from the three guys.